in this world, there are good lyrics and there are bad lyrics. And then there are the lyrics that I'm going to be sharing with you and April today. Hey everybody, I'm Clifford Stummy, the pop song professor. Welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome on weekdays by explaining and sometimes roasting song lyrics. This is my wonderful wife, April, and today she is going to be helping me respond to some of the worst lyrics you have ever heard. I am not kidding. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'll get edited out probably. So I asked you guys on my community channel, page, tab, whatever, a couple of days ago, what some of the worst lyrics you've ever heard were. So all of these are completely from you guys, except for one that I helped somebody out with. We're gonna be going through all 11 of them, uh, and it's gonna be fantastic. So uh, Leah, Lee Nicole said, just turn on the country, ra country station on your radio and you will be flooded with awful lyrics. So this is the one I helped with, and number one is one we were talking about yesterday, actually, and it's Luke Bryan's Drunk On You, where he says, girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom. It seems very common in country music. No offense, <laughs> all country music fans. <laughs> girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom. I mean, that, it what could, does it, it mean? It could mean anything. It could mean really? anything. I want to use it as my catchphrase from now on, like, no, no, wow, no. that chicken no. salad made my speakers go boom, boom. That's where we get our catchphrases from the worst <laughs> years videos. <laughs> okay, so Daniel Bell uh, has our number two. He said, uh, he, he referred to Katy Perry's firework the lines, do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Drifting on the wind, wanting to start again. Yeah, because every plastic bag I see floating by is totally sentient and really wishes for a do-over. <laughs> and is not just talking about recycling here either. I feel like we reviled this song pretty heavily, like, five years ago. Would that be accurate? <laughs> they put, like, celebrity faces on plastic bags. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look up these memes. There's gotta be like a subreddit somewhere. Number three is from Jake, and this this one was so great. Uh, and there's a clip I want to show you too from from when he tried to explain this lyric. But it's Lil Yachty's Peekaboo, which is when a notoriously sexually graphic song. Uh, and this this Pe line Peekaboo is a title for a graphic song. It's just unfortunate <laughs> in the first place. Yeah. children's nursery rhymes and graphic songs. Lil Yachty does them all. Um, and the line's not much better, but it's 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 hilarious how dumb it is. Uh, my new bitch yellow, so we can assume he's being pretty racist towards Asians. My new bitch yellow, she blow that dick like a cello. Isn't that cello strange? <laughs> 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 you don't blow a cello. <laughs> they had him come in to explain the lyric in studio with Genius.com. And so they put the line up and he was like, no, no, I know you guys are gonna rag me on this one, but I blame my A&R guy. He didn't tell me that a cello wasn't a woodwind instrument. <laughs> After we all listened to it, nobody said anything. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he just didn't know what a cello was. Um, but let it be a lesson to you. You don't have to get big in the music industry to, and actually know what musical instruments there are. Hey, it's possible that he was literally saying, like, I don't get any. Because <laughs> you like, don't blow a cello. Because you don't blow a cello. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sick burn. Uh, number four, Kanye West, Lift Yourself, coming from the Lego Geek 123. Uh, and I'm going to read it in its entirety. Uh, oh poopy, poopy de scoop. Scoop de de whoop. Whoop de scoop de poop. Poop de scoop de scoop de whoop. Whoop de scoop. Whoop poop. Poop de de whoop. Scoop poop poop. Scoop diddy whoop, whoop diddy scoop, whoop diddy scoop, poop. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be ironic? Wasn't it? Wasn't it on on purpose irony? It it there's the feeling that it should be ironic, and I always imagine Kanye West sitting in his music laboratory, being like, "Man, I'm people are gonna think I'm so smart for the irony in this song, but like nobody got it, and so just by the fact that nobody sees the irony, it means that for all practical purposes." There's no irony. So maybe Kanye West is just cooler than us. <laughs> maybe he knows something we don't know. I will say though, that part of the song is really catchy. The poop diddy scoop? Yeah, it like it makes me want to like dance, but a dumb dance. Poop diddy scoop. Yeah, it makes me want to like go and Every scoop dance. poop. I don't know. What. <laughs> Shakira's song "Wherever Whenever" suggested by My Chemical Jade. Uh, and the lines go like this, and you're gonna find this very interesting. Um, Lucky that my lips not only mumble, they spill kisses like a fountain. Lucky that my breasts are small and humble, so you don't confuse them with mountains. I'm very confused. I am too. I have so many questions. Have you read the whole song? Um, more or less. What is she supposed to be saying? I think she's just like talking to some guy about like how she's gonna do him. And she's just like, don't worry, my boobs aren't too big. 
it's all good. I'm confused by the first part. Lucky that my lips don't just mumble, they can also kiss. What? Like mumble sweet nothings, like. Oh, oh. Taylor, babe, how's it going over the line? <laughs> <laughs> That's not. Uh, number six, Taylor Swift love story. Yeah. This is one we probably all pointed out, but because you were Romeo, I was a Scarlet Letter, and my daddy said stay away from Juliet. Two different stories. Two yeah. different classical stories. Uh, also su suggested by Liliana Tenorio. Right, like Romeo and Juliet is like semi-romantic, but the Scarlet Letter is like the least romantic story ever. Yeah, well she's saying I was a Scarlet Letter. I mean, and I don't think she actually was in the story. I don't think she no. actually had been an adulteress and then because that's what the scarlet letter is right, about right, right right it just means stay away which is kind of what the scarlet letter was but it wasn't in shakespeare the scarlet letter was like shame wasn't it yeah 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 a for adultery that yeah. was well yeah I the remember that. Hawthorne. all right this song is brand new as suggested by ball till you fall cool name <laughs> it is ariana grande's song god is a oh woman boy. um and okay so what is what do you think at first when you hear god is a woman coming from ariana grande I think it's gonna be like a pump up song. It's gonna be a pump up song. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, do you think it has any theological implications? No, I think it's gonna be like women are strong. I think that's what it's gonna be. Okay, okay, okay. cool. Wow, so you you think that, that Ariana Grande is getting a little socially woke and she's gonna sure. female empowerment. Cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright. You you love it how I move you. You love it how I touch you. My one. When all is said and done, you'll believe God is a woman. Basically, I'm going to sex you so good that you're going to think that the most high power is female because I've got some of that divinity in me for how I'm going to sex you. Deep, right? I don't feel like that one's that bad. It's that bad. Well, Sorry. you know, not everyone can be absolutely <laughs> terrible, but I just feel like we expected so much from a song with that title and then it's like this super uh, long stretch. You forgot it was Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't yeah. she also write... Uh, side to side. Yes. Right. This is an upgrade. We're actually are moving up in the it world. It's a little bit guys. better. Yeah. Slightly better. Oh boy. That is that is bad. Uh, View Muse suggests this song from Post Malone. It's called Spoil My Night. And if you were looking for a little bit of sexism, I got it for you. Yeah, when I walk up in a party, they all act like they know me. Then I spotted little mama through the wall of jabronis. Ooh. Point her out so I can bag her if they just bring her to me. I ain't even see the face, but she got beautiful boobies. Great. Is it a rap song? Yeah. It's yeah. It, yeah, yeah. And he, he yeah. might not have even written the lyrics himself, but... That's very... I like it. The most romantic thing, really, that a guy <laughs> can do is compare, like his conquest of this romantic conquest to big game hunting. <laughs> I'm gonna bag her. <laughs> Just bag her and bring her to me. Wait, but wasn't it what even were, like- What a, in the world yeah. are jabronis? I think it's like your bros, jabroni, oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, now this one honestly is gonna be a little bit offensive, I think, and this song was actually under fire for being pretty offensive, um, and it's super tone deaf, that's what's going on here. Uh, Moonstruck Drop HD. I'm gonna try to say it in Spanish and you try to guess what it is. It's from Victor Manuel and Faruco's Amarte Duro. Te, te voy a dar bien duro como Chris le daba a Rihanna. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what does it sound like to you who okay. speaks some Spanish? It's Pretty good Spanish. Te voy a... Dar bien duro. Como. I'm going to give you good something like Chris gave Rihanna. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And the thing that it's given is, well, here, I'll just read the, I'll, I looked up a lot of different translations. The person who suggested it, Moonstruck Drop HD, said that it was hit you hard like uh, Chris hit Rihanna, um, but, or did to Rihanna, but everything else that I found was like this. I am sick of you like I was addicted to drugs. You are my addiction. It's necessary to have you. On a daily basis, I swear I can't bear it anymore, and I will love you hard, just like Chris loved Rihanna. Did Chris really love Rihanna? I thought he beat her. But I maybe, couldn't tell. Maybe he should look up the pictures. Yeah, maybe this it's guy's a little bad. bit tone deaf. But So that, that was pretty awful. This next one comes from Panic in the Disco. You wouldn't have thought that they would have a bad lyric, but on this most recent album, there was one that I don't get, and it may be a slang I don't understand. I can think of some bad Panic of the Disco lyrics. I need to talk to you later. <laughs> I have an idea for a video. All right, uh, Panic of the Disco, Roaring Twenties, as suggested by McCall Malmstrom. Malmstrom? Malmstrom. Usually it's Malmstrom, but it's Malmstrom. 
All right, um, this is my roaring, roaring 20s. I don't even know me. Roll me like a blunt, cause I wanna go home. I'm just picturing him like at some party and he's just really tired. And he just like lays down on the carpet and is like, will you roll me up so I can go home? All I wanna be is a burrito, but I couldn't say burrito cause it's not cool enough. Okay, last one. And this one, this one is, this is the one that I really was waiting to hear you react oh to. Cause you're gonna love this. There's a lot of jokes about how men don't like understand periods and stuff like that. Um, and I think Lil Wayne uh, from the song A Milli probably represents this best and it comes from the, the commenter Fat. Um, he, uh, that's your name, that's cool, great name. Um, but here's the line. Tougher than Nigerian hair, my criteria compared to your career just isn't fair. I'm a venereal disease, like a menstrual bleed. I mean, hopefully he's not <laughs> saying that menstruating is a venereal disease, because fun fact, if you didn't know, it's just a condition of being a female. But no, he's 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 a venereal, not only is he a venereal disease. Is there like a... But, like a like, is that the end of a sentence? Is it like, I, I try I'm to give you like a venereal disease, new thought. No, no, it's just, I'm a venereal disease. Uh, like, let me, I'm a venereal disease like a menstrual bleed. He, oh, you know what, maybe that comma in the middle, he's like, I'm a venereal disease, like I'm gonna. And I'm also like, and then like, he's like, like a menstrual bleed. So he's like telling you to bleed maybe, cause he's gonna cut you or something, I don't know. I don't know why you would ever compare yourself to an STD. <laughs> like I, I get being like I'm like a disease, like I'm gonna make you. But why that? Like, what's the why? I'm a venereal disease. Maybe wow, venereal tough. just sounded nice. Yeah, maybe it was like the rhythm. It's like I like that word. That sounds good. What's it mean? That's, that's not what I imagined them going to. I don't know, I don't know. It sounds good though, keep it. There was a kid in my class in high school who heard the word chlamydia and didn't know what it meant. It's like, oh, what a pretty name. <laughs> name that's how I'm chlamydia. picturing this kid. This dude is like, that's a good word. I'm putting it in my song. I sound tough. <laughs> well guys, that has certainly been quite the ride. That's 11 completely awful lyrics. I hope that you enjoyed this. April, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this as well. So and comment below more awful lyrics that we should put in the next video. Looking forward to it. Talk to you later, guys. <laughs>